Hey everybody, welcome to your special summer solstice reading for all signs time stamped with me, Stella Wild. So I suggest watching for your sun sign first and then your moon sign. I am not breaking it down by houses. We're just going to dive in with an oracle deck and clarify with some tarot and get a special message for you, energies you can work with for the next three months ahead. Make sure you check out the description to the video. Your timestamps will be there and also there will be links for you to check out if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, if you would like to check out some crystals for the summer solstice or the winter solstice if you're down under. Um, and also if you would like to uh, take a peek at my new manifestation kit, Moon Manifesting Secrets. The link for that will also be in the description. All right, let's get into it. All right, Aries, let's see what your spirit message is for the summer solstice. Let's see what we have for you and then we'll clarify with tarot. All right, Aries, what do we have for you? Intuitive nudges. Hmm. Intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. So this language of the soul is something that you're going to be speaking deeply over the months ahead. So let's see what you might be getting some intuitive nudges about, Aries. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's see what might be coming into your third eye. What's going to be opening up your third eye chakra? What nudges are you going to get, Aries? What nudges? Page of Wands. Okay. Starting something. Starting something new. And the star. Okay. This is what I feel from this energy. Aries, you're going to get an intuitive nudge to start some sort of new course of action for yourself. Page of Wands. I mean, you remember, these are general readings. <laughs> they apply them to your life. But this can be anything that you are passionate about because the wands energy is showing up and that of course is your energy so but it's the page so it's the baby step right that's how i interpret the pages so follow the intuitive nudge of your passion this could be something brand new it's not even maybe on your radar yet all right now but it'll come in your over, you know, onto the psychic radar over the next three months. The star is here. Very interesting. Um, so this has to do with some sort of new destined path for you. That's how I interpret the star card because of the north node of destiny for me. That's on the card. So, yes, this could be something technologically based because of the Aquarian energy. Um it could be something involving a large group of people since that typically is your 11th house. I said I wasn't going to do houses, but it's like, it's hard for me to sometimes not do that. Um, but this can be about also, you know, just I'm feeling like you guys are going to be starting something maybe that is, um, yes, a new path, a healing path, a path that's going to unfold the next layer of destiny. But I think technology is going to have a role in it. There's something something to do with that. Um, and, you know, could be something involving astrology, something very futuristic. The other thing, too, is something, you know, you're like, this is the thing, Aries. I just want to point out with this energy that I'm feeling. You are a trendsetter. You are off. I mean, I know sometimes Aquarius energy is like, oh, the Aquarians are the trendsetters and nobody else is. Okay, yes, they can be too. But you often have those instinctual uh, hits of knowing when something, before something hits big, like you sense it and you may start getting drawn to it. You don't even know why. Um, and then next thing you know, you're doing it and then... Six months, a year later, everybody else is doing it. So, but you were the first one and you were the first successful one at it. And everybody else after you is just copying. Right? So um, there's something I feel going on with that as well. 
like setting, you know, because it's not about setting a trend, you know, it will result in that, but it's like, you are following a passion of yours. Um, and it's going to lead to very interesting things for you. It could lead to some sort of fame, notoriety, depending on what this is, of course, with the star card, some sort of spiritual illumination. So, I mean, there's really gorgeous energy here. Let's pull one from the top and see what else we need to know. The world, look at this. So this new nudge in the new direction is going to help you wrap up a chapter of your life, but also start a new chapter. And with the star and the world showing up here, depending on what this is, what you start with this fiery passion, it could, I mean, star and the world together can absolutely be some sort of recognition in whatever it is this is that you're starting. So very, very positive energy. We, of course, have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy emphasized in the world card. So look to Leo season in particular, Aries, for something that's maybe when you're going to start this thing. You get the, the big intuitive nudge, you know, if we're looking at timing here. Um, but your whole world is going to open up with some sort of new inspired pathway you know, this doesn't have to be business. It can just be something that you're enjoying doing. Um, some something that is just going to add to your life. Um, it could be a romance. Sure. You know, whatever, whatever new passionate direction you want to go in, in your life that you have been getting those little proddings, <laughs> proddings about. So follow your passion, follow your bliss over the next three months, Aries. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on for you over the summer. What is your special spirit message? All right, Taurus, what do we have for you? We have seeking. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy, and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. Okay. So this suggests to me that your spirit is seeking something new, is seeking the spark of the divine, perhaps in someone else in your world, that there's something here that you're looking for a new connection. Now, remember, these are general readings, apply them to your life. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be some other type of connection, but a connection of spirit. So, because that's what it says here, we are, we are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So seeking some sort of new and inspired connections. All right. Could also be a connection with yourself as well. Let's see what we have here. What are you seeking over the next three months? You're seeking the Ten of Pentacles. Well, that's a very Taurus energy, isn't it? You guys like a Ten of Pentacles moment. And justice. Okay. So you could be seeking some sort of um, finality in a legal agreement, a uh, law case, you know, something like that. Contract that will bring you financial stability, long-term financial stability, investing opportunities, etc. So let's see what else we have on the top. Oh, a three of cups. Okay. So you are really seeking to be released from some sort of situation that has been hanging in the balance for you. Justice. Now, since the justice card is coming up, it's the major arcana. So for me, those always like kind of indicate some sort of um, you know, real karmic situation. So... I think by the end, since the Three of Cups was the last energy here, I think by the end of this three-month period, so before we get into the fall, um, this situation hopefully should right itself, should be, should be balanced out in your life, that justice should be served. But that is what you're seeking. But it is some sort of financial family stability, could be real estate because of the Ten of Pentacles, 
um, really trying to get something accomplished, buying, selling, like I said, contracts. You could be really looking for a place where you can put down roots, a place where you can find more balance in your life. That's another possibility. Um, but the Three of Cups is very nice. I mean, that is celebration, joy, that something has finally wrapped up satisfactorily and we can now <laughs> breathe a sigh of relief and have a little party. So very interesting. So, but I feel it's going to take till the end, till the end of the three month period, Taurus, for this, because it's a big, it's a bigger issue. Um, And the other thing I would say, too, with this justice is really seek the spark of fairness and balance and equality in whatever this situation is for you. So, for example, if you are trying to buy a house, um, do not try to go way over your budget or take on too big a loan that you really can't handle moderation in all things seeking moderation seeking the balance um that's gonna be the key so we have the ton of pentacles here you're gonna get more through in the long run through not being greedy i mean i just gotta say it. that's what i'm feeling okay and i'm not saying that y'all are greedy all right so don't leave nasty comments in the in the chat okay but yeah, everybody can be greedy it's you know anybody can be like that but what i'm feeling is there is something with the ten of pentacles here there is some sort of financial matter you're seeking to rectify wrap up develop nail down again could be a court case whatever here with this justice contract negotiation buying a house so you can reach your happy ending the ten of pentacles here by keeping all sides in mind not just your own and also not going out on a limb is what i am feeling okay so just keep that in mind keep your balance <laughs> keep keep your fairness in mind do right by yourself of course i mean i'm not saying you should take and accept some sort of shoddy offer no 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 but um we're seeking ultimately fairness in whatever this is to resolve and taking care of yourself so you don't stretch yourself too thin either in the pursuit of whatever this Ten of Pentacles moment is for you. All right. So best of luck to you. You're going to get there in the end. It's right here. All right. But keep this is the key. The justice card for me is the key to this whole situation. All right, Gemini, let's see what your spirit message is for the solstice to the equinox from june to september what do you need to know what's your special spirit message for gemini gemini Ooh, ground yourself being just oh gosh don't get mad at me being distracted unfocused tired irritated and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. Okay. Cause we know, I mean, you know, it's, we know you guys have always multiple projects going on at all times and make sure you check out the community post. I wrote a little celebration of Gemini energy and I kind of like mentioned that you guys always have multiple irons in the fire. So and that's part of your strength and that's part of who you are. So you sh it's not like you shouldn't do that, but it's important to make sure that you are grounded in the different things that you are pursuing. So don't distract yourself. Don't be unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient. All of those are signs that you're ungrounded. Okay. So let's see what we need to know about that energy. So it's going to be important for you to nurture your dreams over the summer, all your different projects, but you got to keep it real is the thing, right? You've got to keep your feet on the ground. The chariot. <laughs> you could be flying high. <laughs> the chariot and the nine of pentacles. Okay. 
All right, here's what I am feeling from this energy for you guys. Chariot, of course, is July, but this is Virgo, the Nine of Pentacles. And this reading goes from the solstice to the equinox. So we get into, you know, Virgo season. So we were talking about Cancer, Leo, Virgo energy. So you're going to be very busy, the chariot here. You're going to be very busy over the next three months, going here, going there, doing this, doing that. So this is letting you know when you are getting distracted and a little impatient and road ragey and all that, like, because the road ragey, here's the chariot, right? That it is time to just take a breath, pause, take off your shoes, go stand in the grass and just center yourself, slow down and breathe, all right? Um, you have a lot going on. There's something gorgeous, I think, that you're going to be working on that has a beautiful success coming for you. in Virgo. I feel in Virgo season. I feel in Cancer season, you may be um, hitting the road. There may be a little vacation. Um, but also with the chariot here, there's something new I think you're going to be starting. Some sort of new path. Um, and I think it can be very successful. But it's going to be more successful if you can ground yourself and not get carried away with, with, the, with the chariot energy. Remember with the chariot, like the driver is in control of the reins, not the horses. So you want to kind of hold your horses, right? That old expression, hold your horses a little bit, Gemini, and just control, control the chariot a bit more. Um, Nine of Pentacles is gorgeous. So... I feel like there's going to be going to be some beautiful manifestation energy headed your way. Let's pull from the top here. Oh, the two of cups. Gorgeous. So whatever this is for you, there could be some sort of very important meeting. This could be for a personal relationship. This could be for a job interview, especially because we have pentacles going on here, but, um, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is often the woman alone, so, or the person alone. So if you have been wanting to manifest a relationship, for example, and you have been kind of on swiping this way and swiping that way and doing this and doing that, and you know, kind of like, oh, that looks interesting, that profile or that one, or, oh, you know, like if you've been kind of just all over the place with that, and I'm just saying that because of the two of cups showing up here, then it is really time to, to focus. Maybe look for quality over quantity in terms of looking for somebody. And I'm talking about internet dating. Um, you know, because you, you know, you, you're very, you're interested in a lot of different things and different people. So it's like you, you know, sometimes it's hard to choose, right? It's mutable energy. You're just fascinated. It's just, everybody has a story, like you're interested, right? But I think there's something here about staying grounded and staying focused and really being intentional with your choices. That's what I'm feeling from this. Um, so especially if you're wanting to manifest a change in your circumstance from being alone to being as part of a couple. Um, so another possibility here, like I said with this, because this is Pentacles, there could be some very inspired idea um, that's going to involve somebody else or a very important meeting. This could be some sort of new business partner. That's possible. I feel like there is probably a change though for you from being more on your own alone to interacting with a new BFF, a new potential business or romantic partner, that type of thing. So, and or it could just be somebody also with some sort of business mentor or other type of mentor coming into your life to help you achieve something important with the chariot here. So that's another reason to stay grounded and centered so that when this person arrives, you will recognize them. You, you won't be so scattered that you, you know, miss the boat, so to speak, and overlook them or see right past them or something like that. All right, so it's all it's always good, yes, to I think it's good to keep your options open for sure. But I think a very focused approach is going to serve you well. And um, like I said, because we have this new path 
opening up for you. You really want to, you want to make sure you're staying on the road and not careening off onto tangents or side excursions that yes, may be quite exciting and interesting, but are not perhaps serving ultimately what you want to manifest in your life. So ground yourself, stay centered, so that you can connect with the divine source and recognize this new connection that's coming in. All right, Cancer, let's see what's happening for you in the summer season, your season, Leo season, Virgo season. What's going on for you, Cancer? What's your spirit message? Cancer, we have support. All right. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. Okay, so the focus is going to be on who's in your life, who's coming, who's going, new people, old people, <laughs> you know, what's, what's going on, who's supporting you, who's not supporting you. Do we have to make changes in that regard? All right, let's see what we have. Let's clarify that for you, Cancer. All righty. Let's see what we got. The Queen of Swords. Okay, so you could be dealing with air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have the Chariot again. All right, and I shuffled thoroughly. We just got that for Gemini. Um... But of course, that is your energy as well. So air, an air sign person could either be coming in or leaving. I mean, the, the chariot is about a new path. So I'm going to say there's a new person coming in. Um, I got to pull another card from the top. This person may be coming in for a very specific reason to help you on your path with perhaps some sort of intellectual project. That's what I feel. Or it could be also something legal. I'm feeling some sort of writing project, editing project, communications project, legal, um, maybe getting your website done, you know, something like that. Whatever intellectual support, whatever brainy support, because it's, you know, it's swords, the brain, the mind. Whatever support you need in that area to help you on a new path, that person's coming in. They may not necessarily be an air sign. I mean, I think they probably are because of the Queen of Swords showing up. But it could just be the nature of the relationship that that's what they're coming in, you know, to help you with. All right, to get you on this new destined path, probably in your birthday season, because this is showing up here. And the Ace of Cups, gorgeous. So for some of you, again, we can just look at this as energy. We don't have to look at it as male, female. We can just look at it as air sign energy. So there could be an air sign coming in in some sort of new love relationship. Very possible with the Ace of Cups showing up. But again, Ace of Cups is... You can look at it a couple different ways. You can look at it that since the ace is the number one, it's about you, that this person's going to help you nurture, ace of cups, some sort of new emotional reality in your life. It's going to, this person will bring emotional fulfillment, happiness, support you in your personal growth and development, that type of thing, that you will feel a sense of renewal and refreshment with this energy in your life. Um, and I do feel it's a person, I mean, because we're asking, we're asked, this is the card we're clarifying, the support, which is about people, people coming in. So this is not just about you doing a writing project. This is about you, like, for example, getting into some sort of writing group, or like I said, somebody, you finally find the right person who can design your website, that type of thing. But what I love about this energy for you is that both you and this person, I feel, have a purity of intention. The Ace of Cups is gorgeous. That you're both meeting on a mutual understanding and ground of 
sincere support and help. So I love this for you. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, yeah. It could be the start of a beautiful friendship. It may start out as business. I'm just feeling it's something that is more business-ish, more like, or something to do in the community or something like that. Like you're not expecting you're gonna be friends with this person, but it is very possible that down the line, that's what this relationship turns into. And it's sincere. So I like that because, you know, Cancer, you don't always open up very easily to people. That's just your nature and that's fine. Um, and I think what you'll really appreciate about this person's energy is that they're not full of BS. They are, like I keep saying, a very pure, kind-hearted, sincere energy. Like they really want to boost you up and help you. So I love this for you. Excellent energy. All right, Leo, let's see what we have for you for your summer spirit message. What does Leo need to need? Need to know for July, August, September, solstice to equinox. You need to know that it's time to let go. Time to let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we all have only your best interest intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you okay so trust in the higher good and abundance of spirit we have your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you so message from your spirit guides so let go of the outcome or whatever it's not about letting go like you know it's letting go of the outcome that's the key so then you can release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. All right, let's clarify that. Letting go of the outcome. Letting go of the outcome and trusting the universe. Trusting in spirit. Let's see. Leo. Four of pentacles. <laughs> You're holding on for dear life. Okay. And temperance. So there could be something involving a Sagittarius because of the temperance energy showing up here. Hello, Ariel. Um, it's good to see you. <laughs> but, you know, temperance is about change and that's what you want. You're trying to create something in your life. But what this energy is saying is that you're holding on so tightly to what you think the outcome should be that... It's stifling what would naturally manifest, right? Manifestation does not respond well to desperate grasping, this must be this way type energy. And I mean, I was laughing because not at you, but at the fact that the four of pentacles came out because that is the card of holding on. Look at how she's holding on to the pentacle for dear life. Like that is about I... Um, not letting go of this. Whereas temperance is, how can I step into the flow of alchemy? Look at your little face. <laughs> the flow. How can I just let things naturally transform themselves? And because the temperance is here as the major arcana, and there is an angel in the temperance card. How can I let spirit take the wheel and not me thinking I have to manage everything in this manifestation you're trying to create? You know what you want this to be. That's, I mean, it's right here. You're holding on to it right over your heart. You can see this. Some sort of very important manifestation could be involving your home life because of the four of pentacles showing up here. So home, real estate matter, very, very possible with this energy, but it doesn't matter. It's just something you very much want to create in your grounded reality, the pentacles, you know, in your outward reality. So how can you, this is the, this is the message. How can you let temperance take over? How can you maintain your balance and not get so thrown off into this, this yearning 
And how can you just be like, all right, it's going to happen when it happens. I trust. I'm good. All right, let's pull one more card and see what else we need to know with this situation. Ace of Wands. Beautiful. So I think around your birthday, this situation will manifest and change. Um, but until then, it's going to require all your powers of patience. That's temperance also. Patience and trust in the natural unfolding and right timing of the changes that are coming in your life of whatever you want this manifestation to bring. You, you're Try to manifest something that's going to bring a big change in your life. We know that from the temperance here. So Ace of Wands is thumbs up. It will happen. It's fire, probably, like I said, in your birthday season. So all you have to do, this is the key, because this is in the middle of all this energy too. This is the key to this whole situation. You want this to happen? Then let it go. Let it go. Go do something else. Go focus on something else for a little while. I mean, still hold your vision, but don't be obsessed by it. And go switch your attention to something else. It is so often true that when we do that, that's when the manifestation happens. So I love this for you. There is a passionate new beginning right here. Ace of Wands. Look at that beautiful, beautiful energy there. So keep the faith. You will get there. But there is no sense in, in going great, making yourself crazy. All right. All right. All right, Virgo, let's see what your summer solstice spirit message is. What energies you can tune into and work with over the summer months. Let's see what we have for you, Virgo. Oh, we have gratitude. All right. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. Okay. So let's see what we need to know about that. Some of you may already have a gratitude practice. Or maybe you've done that in the past. Maybe it's time to get back to that. Maybe it's time to start it. All right, so you want to attract prosperity and abundance through appreciating what you already have. Yes, five of cups is here. And the magician. Wow, very strong, beautiful energies. So... If you have been feeling a little bit down emotionally, the Five of Cups, if there was a recent disappointment of some sort, maybe involving something that you were trying to manifest for yourself, the magician, but it didn't pan out for whatever reason, and you're feeling a little bummed out, time to shift right out of that energy. You don't want to stay stuck in that energy, Virgo. Um, of course, if... You know, you, I'm not saying deny your feelings, feel what you need to feel. If you're grieving, grieve. Everybody has a different grieving process. Nobody should tell anybody else how long that takes. But I'm feeling that this was, so I'm not talking about, you know, a situation like that. I'm talking about a situation that was probably, like I said, something you've been trying to create in your life, something new. And it didn't quite gel and come together yet. Now, that doesn't mean that it's doomed for all time. No, it does not. <laughs> it means that we have to put this into perspective and take charge of the situation, the magician. You have strong manifesting abilities. That's what the magician's all about. And it's interesting that it's popping out here when we're talking about attracting abundance and prosperity. Because it is very much about our mindset being able, of course, and our emotions and being able to put certain things in perspective and not stay stuck in the Five of Cups energy. So let's pull from the top and see. I mean, one way to reframe it might be that you're grateful for having had the opportunity to pursue whatever this was, even if it didn't work out. 
You know, at least you went on the job interview. You got job interview practice. At least you met that person and they, you know, gave you some piece of information that actually is going to help you. But maybe the relationship didn't work out. Whatever. There's always a way to reframe something, especially if we're approaching it from an attitude of gratitude. All right. Now, obviously, like I said earlier, I'm not talking about some sort of deep personal loss. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, you know, just just something that didn't manifest yet that you're trying to create. Page of Wands. Beautiful. So it's time to get back out there. It is time to initiate. This reading, as I said, is, you know, good for the next three months. So, yeah, you may still have a little of this going on. Sure, but I think that very soon, perhaps in about a month by the end of July, as we get into Leo season, you're, you will be on a brand new path of manifesting and leaving the five of cups behind and manifesting whatever this, this thing is that you're trying to get underway in your life. Page of Wands two pages for me are about the initiating steps. So it would behoove you... <laughs> These energies are very, the colors are very close. So it would behoove you to start some sort of gratitude practice. And whatever that means for you, I can't go into all of that right now in this video, but there's various ways to do it. You do not have to, uh, you know, necessarily keep a gratitude journal. There's other things you can do. Um, although a gratitude journal is, is very effective. Um, but you'll figure out, you'll figure out the way that's gonna work best for you, but you will initiate that. Um, and you will reframe whatever this is, and you're not going to let it get you down. You're not going to let this get you down. You're going to get right back out there, Virgo, and make this project happen for yourself. But this is the key. This is the key right here. All right. Focusing on gratitude. That's how you're going to attract the prosperity and abundance. And as it says here, it's the circle of giving and receiving energy. So usually the energy that we, you know, if we want to attract something into our lives, give more of that thing. If you can't, if you want to attract prosperity, but maybe you can't, you don't have a lot of extra right now to give, then give of yourself, give of your time. All right. You will see that come back to you in other ways. There's other ways that you can engage in that continuous flow of energy. So you're going to do it. You're going to leave that behind. And I'm excited for you. This is something beautiful you're going to be manifesting. And I really feel like by the time we get to your birthday season, you're going to be well on your way toward being in this flow of energy with this new project, this new thing that you're trying to bring into your world. So very, very nice energies here. All right, Libra, let's see what we have for you as your summer solstice energies from now until the fall equinox. Let's see what energies, Libra, you are working with. Oh, Libra, you need to have some fun. Stop. That's what it says. Stop. When was the last time you had fun, Libra? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly, something totally unlike you, something just for the joy of it? It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. Oh, Libra, you do have an analytical mind. This card was for you. It's, it's really true. It is time for you to make time to have fun over the next three months. That doesn't mean you have to do it every single day, but you may have to schedule it in, but it's time to schedule it in and have some fun. Something just for pure joy. All right, let's see what we have. Yeah, because look at this. We're in the five of swords and then we have the three of cups. With such diametrically opposed energies. Three of cups, joy, celebration, hanging out with friends, hanging out with family, a little party, barbecue in the backyard, badminton, you know, hot dogs on the grill, like that type of thing. Fireworks on the 4th of July, like that type of thing. Not this 
worry and anxiety five of swords this you've had a lot of stuff on your mind i mean i mean it says it in the card even with your analytical mind you have been churning 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 something in your life over in your mind again and again and again and again it's like worn a rut into <laughs> into your mind the way you're going to solve this problem is not through more thinking. The way you're going to solve this five of swords issue is through your three of cups time. So this is like so clear. All right. You know what I'm saying? You've been focusing way too much on that. Let's see what else we have. Queen of cups. All right. So this is Cancer Scorpio, Pisces energy. That person may be involved, but we're also going to look at this as a time marker for July for Cancer season. So this needs to happen soon. Not like toward the end of the summer, but soon. Because remember, this reading is, is, you know, looking at the three months of the summer. But Queen of Cups is also about our emotions, our soul, our heart, right? So the thing is your heart needs this your soul needs this you need joy and a break and just silliness and fun in your life just something to nurture your soul and you know it doesn't require like lots of money or anything like that i mean this looks to me a little like kids like blowing bubbles in the summertime like just making yourself a big pitcher of lemonade and lazing away the afternoon in a hammock if you can like it's that type of energy enjoying the fresh air going for a walk taking your kids to the park like just heart centered nurturing and fun your soul is crying out for this the queen of cups and as I was saying to one of the other signs, like the way you can find the solution to something, I was saying this to Leo, is not by holding on and focusing on it and trying to will a solution. Sometimes the way that you get the answer is by shifting out of this energy entirely and just saying, F it, I got to get out of here. I got to go do something else. This is driving me crazy. Let me take, you know a drive to the countryside with my sweetheart. Let's go to the flea market. Let's eat cotton candy. Let's walk around. Let's, you know, let's just go have a day of fun. You'll be very surprised how just shifting that energy can open up your mind to solve, find the, the solution to solve this issue. But it's also more important, Libra, it's about your soul energy. It's about your heart space. Your heart needs this. So... And like I said, it's not about waiting until August or September to do this. I think you need to do this fairly soon because there's been a lot of stress on your shoulders with this five of swords in some area of your life. All right. So make the time to have fun. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you with your summer solstice. To the, to the fall equinox energies. All right, what does Scorpio need to know? Scorpio. Scorpio. Ooh, synchronicity. I love it. All right, let's see what we have. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? So remember, that's going to be in, in effect for three months. People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Wow. All right, Scorpio. So some fated new connections coming in brought by the universe to help you fulfill something in your life, a soul destiny in your life. All right, let's see what we have. Knight of Swords coming in fast. And the Two of Wands. All right. So you have been waiting for a sign. Two of Wands. You've been standing on this threshold of what you're sensing is, because I mean, you're so intuitive. Sensing is some sort of new destiny that's going to unfold for you. Um, 
but you've been waiting patiently. You have been waiting patiently. Now, again, these are general. This could be in whatever area of your life that you feel it applies to. So there is a very quick communication meeting. Um, I feel like it's going to be some some sort of email is what I am feeling. But it could come in some other way Um, because it is, well, you could meet the person, but then it's like the follow-up communication is the thing that changes your life. But it's swift, whatever it is. It comes out of nowhere. Um, although, you know, with your little spidey sense, you've got to been waiting and expecting it. You've been calling it in. You have been calling it in, whatever this, this is for you. Um, and you can see that, you know, two of wands for me is a threshold moment because the person is standing between the two, to the two wands and they're waiting to take the next step forward and advance on their path. And even in this card, you can see that there's two possible roads they're going to go down and what's it going to be. So this person coming in and these energies all aligning are going to help you understand which is the right path for you to go down. All right. So keep noticing the signs and synchronicities and who is coming in. (laughs) Who is coming in? Um, all right. I think this is going to be in Leo season. End of July, August. Because of the... That's in about two months, Leo season. So let's pull one more card from the top and see what else we have that we need to know about this. The Hanging Man. Okay. So this could be a Pisces. Because this is the Pisces energy. Um, but again, so interesting. This person is going to arrive exactly on time (laughs) this deck has the big clock in it other decks do not have that for the hangman so this is a spiritual i mean it's pisces energy right this is a deep spiritual connection this is a divine timing this is a right timing a divine timing it's a divine appointment with this person and it doesn't have to necessarily be a pisces but i mean it could be but this person is going to change the trajectory of your life. And, it, you know, in whatever capacity you're opening to change with the new path coming in. But with the perspective, it is about that this person is going to help you see the potential of the next path forward and what you're supposed to be doing that maybe you didn't see before. You didn't see the potential in yourself or a project you're working on or in a relationship or in something else. You just, you didn't see it for whatever reason or you didn't think it was possible. But this person helps you realize that it is very, very possible. And in fact, it is part of your next destiny that is supposed to unfold. Major Arcana is right. It is a karmic moment. So this person is going to help you see things from a new perspective, but also, you know, both of these energies are about waiting the hangman and the two of wands that we have had a sense of suspended animation because we know that you just don't want to take action just to take action right you know that the prompting of your intuition and your spirit when you know that in your gut that it's the right time to take action that's when you're most successful and you know that and you live by that So that's why you're okay. You're like, you know what? I've I've been okay kind of just here like, because I know this thing is coming. I sense it. I feel it. The waiting will be over. It will absolutely be over. Because like I said, this person's going to arrive in divine timing. And Knight of Swords, boom. The change will be very, very, very fast. So gorgeous energies. Just be alert. Just be doing what you've been doing. And here it comes, here it comes, this divine appointment that's going to change your life. Very nice. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what energies you can work with from the summer solstice to the fall equinox. What is your spirit message, Sagittarius? So what do we got for you? Oh, we have be proud. Look at that peacock energy. Gorgeous. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. 
Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. I mean, yes, after all the shenanigans y'all have been through with the South Node transiting your sign, the fact that you have survived that, you know, that you have rolled with the punches, so to speak, and you haven't lost your sense of optimism and you keep going and you're making positive changes for your life. Many of you have made those positive changes already. Others of you are still in the process. It is time to acknowledge all of your efforts and be proud of what you have been achieving. And there's more to come. There is more to come. Let's not forget December 4th, there is a new moon solar eclipse in your sign. So more transformational energies are on their way for fresh starts in your life before the nodes finally leave your sign. But I would say that for the most part, that energy of release and, and big, huge letting goes ha yeah, is behind you. So now it's about being proud of the fact that you're on the road to creating new things, transforming, a lot of you have done the hard part of the letting go. Be proud of that. That is not easy. All right. And now you're going to be doing the part of the creating of the new. Mm, King of Pentacles. So this could be a Virgo season. Let's see what else we have. The chariot. That chariot's been coming up quite a bit. And I shuffled. He's, this chariot's been popping in. So, like I said, these readings are from January 20th to September 20th. I think in Virgo season, end of August into September, you're going to be on a brand new path. A brand new path that you're going to feel very proud of yourself about. Now, this could be something related to your finances, to a job, to selling something, money, wealth creation, whatever it might be. General reading, apply it to your life. But I read Pentacles also as self-esteem. And the king showing up shows me that, yes, indeed, you will be feeling very proud of yourself for the fact that you have manifested a victory for your success, for yourself and your success, a new path forward and just feeling so much better, you know, because like I said, you guys, when that's when a self node transits through our sign, it is very challenging. So most of that is done and you're feeling like, wow, this is a rebirth. This is a renaissance. I am so excited about this new version of myself, who I am becoming. And in many cases, you know, you're just getting started. You're just getting started, Sagittarius. This is gorgeous. Let's pull one more card. Let's see what else we have. The world. Gorgeous beautiful energy so one chapter ending another chapter beginning beautiful absolutely gorgeous here i think for some of you this really could be some sort of new job it's very very possible or some sort of project you have been working on um especially if you own your own business some sort of monetary project uh could really be very successful for you. But I would say in September and then onward, um, because the world can be the world, especially next to the chariot. Like you get your message out there and the world freaking loves it and they can't get enough of it. So that is beautiful. Of course, that type of success, you're going to be very proud of yourself as well. There's something here. Like I'm just feeling like the perseverance, you didn't give up and you know, because you didn't, here you go. The success, these are gorgeous energies. The success can be yours. Um, but it is going to be important, I think, also to acknowledge, because like this, this card is saying, you know, acknowledge what you've achieved. Acknowledge the, the fact, too, I think, by September that you have really turned the corner on a situation, that that chapter really is done in your life, and that the new, that you're on the path of the new. That's going to be really important to acknowledge. Some of you, there may be something going on with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. That is possible. Um, you know, but I'm going to, I'm going to just really look at this more as, like I said, your own self-esteem, your own ability to change your financial situation for the better also. 
because you've been wor working very hard to make changes, as we can see from this. So beautiful energy, Sagittarius. All right, Capricorn, let's see what we have for you for your summer solstice to fall equinox message, a spirit message for Capricorn. Oh, beautiful self-love, Capricorn. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. Oh, it is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Capricorn, you're often very busy uh, conquering the world and taking care of other people. It is time to put some of that energy back on you. All right, so nurture yourself. It's not just a state of mind. It's a state of appreciation for yourself based in the actions you're taking to support your body, mind, and soul. So it's not just about thinking good thoughts, although that's helpful. But actually, what are you doing in the concrete world to support your self-love? So are you eating nutritious foods? Are you getting enough rest? Are you scheduling in some gym time? Are you scheduling in some friend time? That's important too. Spending time with your friends. Doing things you enjoy. Not just work, work, work. So well, four of swords, see, you need a time out, my dear. Four of swords, ace of cups, self-love. Taking a rest is a form of self-love and self-care. So I know it's probably, you're not going to want to take four weeks off. I know you, but can you at least take four days? Can you take a long weekend, Capricorn? Can you do that for me? So... Ace of Cups is beautiful. It is about renewal, rejuvenation, emotional rejuvenation. Four of Swords can be, there's just so much that mental activity that you have been doing that your brain needs a tiny bit of rest also. So, you know, it's... What I'm feeling is that Again, Capra, earth signs in general tend to be very grounded in the body. I mean, you know, usually. Um, but with the four swords coming up, what this is saying to me is that you've been spending a lot of time in your head. All right. You've been up here a lot. <laughs> and, you know, because you got plans, you got dreams, you got goals, you got lots of stuff going on. Um, and I think, you know, with these energies, what it's saying to me is you've kind of forgotten about your body. Maybe in the last four months. Could be even the last four years, <laughs> but I mean, it's not like you've forgotten about your body, but you haven't been paying it as much attention as maybe it needs. So it is time to take that mental break, nurture yourself in loving and concrete ways. As it says here, love, nurture, and heal yourself. Emotional rejuvenation and taking a mental break is going to do wonders for you. Let's pull another card. See what else we need to know. Knight of Pentacles. All right. This is what I feel from this. It would be a very good idea, in my opinion, from these energies, for you to commit Knight of Pentacles to a longer term, regular course of action. Slow and steady. Again, Knight of Pentacles wins the race every time. Over time, Capricorn, where you're allowing time for yourself. All right, Ace of Cups. Not just mentally, but also, like I said, you know, physically, emotionally, etc. Having fun, doing things you enjoy, etc. This is a change I think you need to make over the long term. But I think this is the time with these energies that we're looking at now to start it now. But I would say it needs to become a habit, Knight of Pentacles, that will last you the rest of your life. So we, you know, it's it's good, you know, Knight of Pentacles building a strong foundation. Again, Pentacles, your energy. Change 
is best when it happens in increments over time. If we do sometimes change too quickly, we get burned out and we don't stick with it, right? So it's like the same thing. You go to the gym and it's like, I, you know, you start back at the gym and you're five days a week, you're there and you're doing the body pump and the body jam and the body combat and you're doing all the things. And you've like, by Friday, you're exhausted on the sofa and you're not gonna do anything else and you burn yourself out. That is not the way. So you're gonna make some positive changes with this self-care and you're gonna do it incrementally over time so that it becomes a natural part of your life. It is the time. You know, Pluto's still in your sign. It's almost done. All right, <laughs> you've been through a lot since 2008. And one thing, you know, that I'm sure that you have learned is that you have to have a strong foundation in your life to take on life, just in general. I mean, everybody does. But like I said, oftentimes, Capricorn, you're so busy helping other people and, you know, doing your projects and that you forget about yourself. So, and Pluto may have like done a little of this to make you understand that that can't go on, that cannot happen anymore, that you've got to take care of yourself. So you're doing it. This is your summer of self-love, self-care. Take the time out. Work will always be there, Capricorn. <laughs> All right. So, but nurture yourself, et cetera. And take those actions that support your body, mind, and soul. All right? You got this. All right, Aquarius, let's see what your summer solstice to fall equinox spirit message is and how you can use the energies. Let's see. Aquarius, Aquarius, you got strength. Beautiful. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. Your spirit guides, that's who they're referring to. Spirit guides always with you. So you're going to be feeling strong over the summer. Strong, empowered. Look at this image. Gorgeous. And of course, with the energies of the sacral chakra and the solar plexus chakra, you're going to be feeling that empowerment with your creativity, with maybe creating some new projects that can make you some money. And then, of course, the solar plexus chakra is all about your confidence, your will, manifesting what you want, investing your time in the things that bring you joy, that you're good at that feed your strengths, that make you feel empowered. So this is gorgeous energy. All right, let's tune in with the tarot and see. Now, strength is often associated with Leo season. Of course, in the tarot, strength is the Leo energy. So end of July and August, Leo season could be important for you in some way. All right, very nice. Stay strong. Hold to your beliefs. That's the other thing, too, with the conviction energy that's here. You know, staying strong in what you believe in. Hmm, Seven of Swords. And the Ten of Wands. Okay. I'm going to pull the other card from the top before I get into this. Let me do the one more. Ah, uh, the Six of Wands. Okay. All right, because this is only part of the story. You are strong, but what I would ask you is, what have you been giving your strength to? There's gonna be, I think, a change over the summer, probably in Leo season, by you finally releasing a burden, 10 of wands, because we got the six of wands here. So you're going to be moving on in triumph. You're going to be, I think, letting go something that has been an energetic drain and drag on you that has caused um, just a depletion of your energy and of your spirit also. Now, you've been strong enough to carry it. Like you're, st I mean, we know that you're strong. But, but, I don't think this, whatever this is you've been carrying it doesn't serve you anymore. The cycle is done with it. 
because it's the Ten of Wands showing up. Um, and I think there's something to look at here. I don't feel like this is anybody fibbing to you. I think you're fibbing yourself. <laughs> you're telling yourself a porky, Aquarius, that you can keep going with a certain situation, that you got this, like you can just keep carrying it, etc. cetera. Um, but really, I think it's a burden. It's something that's a block. It's like a roadblock that's actually keeping you from something better in your life, something that is more worth your time, your money, your energy, your investment. Um, so I would encourage you over the summer to look very closely at any type of self-delusion or deception in your duties, responsibilities, the shoulds in your life. Oh, I, I have to do this. I should do it. I signed my name up to do it, so I have to do it. You know, all of that type of thing. Um, and, and ask yourself, are you still carrying this because you're afraid to move on in some way and actualize a greater level for your potential? It's possible, right? Sometimes we do that. We might be scared of going to the next level. We don't want to admit it to ourselves, so we're like, oh, but I can't because of all these other things that I already committed to or this thing that keeps me stuck doing all this other stuff, but I can't do this over here. So there really is something to look at there because with the 10, like I said, with the 10 showing up, the natural end of something is coming because you can't do it anymore either. I think your spirit wants to be in this mode. You see this beautiful energy with this guy. Like he's just feeling just the radiant sun on him. He's feeling warm and happy and joyful and excited, you know, looking forward to his future. Not like in the Ten of Wands where, you know, normally in the normal deck, the person can't even see in front of them. They can't it's the opposite of this. They can't see in front of their face because they got all these sticks in front of them. They're carrying all this junk. So it's time to really look at this in your life. What may need to be wrapped up and let go of um, and not kidding yourself about it. Getting real, getting real. All right. Because this gorgeousness, six of wands, victory, success, moving on, being noticed, being um, rewarded in some way for putting your strengths out into the world, living by your convictions and truth. That wants to come in for you, but it can't until this is dealt with. All right. So that's something to look at over the next three months. All right, Pisces, let's see what your summer solstice to fall equinox message is. What does Pisces need to know? And then we'll clarify with the tarot. Soul power. Soul power. Beautiful. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Wow. So there's going to be some important soul growth, soul empowerment, tapping into your beautiful soul over the summer. Let's see. We got to pull the tarot and see what we need to know about that. So your soul is your true essence. Some sort of, I think, spiritual growth on its way for you. And of course, spiritual growth can come in many different forms. Could be a new relationship, a new job, a new creative project a new friend a new home all right let's see what we have soul power capricorn capricorn energy and the star all right this is what i feel pisces and i gotta pull another one but this is big the two major arcanas coming out like this you're gonna heal something that has been a long-standing issue in your life some sort, I think it's it's a karmic lesson you came to learn in this lifetime and to shift the energy. Big soul power, big soul lesson. Devil card, of course, can be about addictions, codependency, unhealthy behaviors, unhealthy attachments. You know, just the, the stuff we get entangled with that is not good for us, but 
if we face it, as you can see, this person's facing it, it can bring growth and healing. If we just would face it and deal with it, not run away from it. So you're going to be healing. The star is here. You're going to be healing something of that nature over the summer. It's major, major soul growth going on here. Um, I got to pull another card. I mean, this could also be some sort of new path that opens up for you. Uh, as a result of finally shifting and healing this situation, whatever it is. Um, because I look at the star as the North Node of Destiny, as some sort of fated new path that you're supposed to be on, that type of thing. So this is big, Pisces. Let's see, let's see what else we have on the top of the deck. Pisces, you were the only sign that got three major arcanas. <laughs> and you got the wheel. The Wheel of Destiny. Oh my God, I'm getting like chills down my legs. Wow. Wow. So I'm filming this June 18th. I'm going to say a month from now or 10 weeks from now, which would bring us almost to the end of this reading, to the equinox period. So right in, right after that Virgo new moon, very beginning of September, Virgo new moon is on the fifth or sixth. It's on Labor Day in the United States. So I, you know, with the timing could be a month from now. So like July 18th, right at the end of cancer season, or I'm feeling that first, you know, from the fifth of September to maybe the 10th of September. That's some sort of major new soul path opens up for you as a result of healing this situation of looking it square in the eye and saying no more this is done in my life i've learned this lesson great and once the universe realizes that because the universe will probably bring you a test that's what it does it likes to do that it likes to be like all right did you learn this lesson I'm going to bring you one more thing just to make sure I'm going to test you. You're going to pass the test. But again, it's not just about, you know, the wishful thinking. It is about looking at this and dealing with it once and for all and saying to the universe, I did it. I dealt with it. Now bring me my goodie. <laughs> bring, bring me my, bring me my soul growth reward. Bring me my new path. Bring me that lovely surprise that I know you have up your sleeve for me. Bring me that gorgeousness. So you got this Pisces. This is a huge soul growth summer for you. And there's going to be something very exciting waiting for you at the end of this soul growth cycle. So be of good faith. Deal with this Capricorn devil situation once and for all so that you can make some sort of miraculous healing and new beginning happen in your life. This is big. This is huge, huge, huge energy here, Pisces. Very excited for you. So thank you so much for joining me for the summer solstice to the fall equinox readings. I hope that if you enjoyed the video, you will consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already done so and share the video with your friends and let them know what their spirit messages are for the next couple of months. I love all you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support of me and of Ariel and of the channel. It means the world to us. We love you guys, all right? Take care, have a great summer. Of course, I'll see you way before that, but I'll see you again soon. Stella Wild, signing out.